Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and thrifting content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because I really think you're going to like it here. Today's video is going to be an unbox my Christmas decor with me. Much like last year, what I did for Halloween decor is buy a lot of things when they were on sale. That's exactly what I did last year for Christmas. I went crazy at Michael's when they had their... 80 or 90 percent off deal i bought a lot of stuff and then packed it all away so i have forgotten about a lot of what i actually have and i am filming on black friday which means yesterday was thanksgiving so i hope you all enjoyed your day whether or not you actually celebrate the holiday um hopefully you had a fun time with friends and family but i wanted to go ahead and sit down today and go through my Christmas decor since it is the sale days. If I'm finding that I need more things or want more things, I can know what I want or need. So we're gonna sit down today, unbox all of my Christmas decor. I know the vibe that I want for Christmas, so I'm definitely gonna try to start a building on that. If y'all are new here to my channel, then you may not know if you are not new here then you probably already know some of the words that are going to come out of my mouth uh, i want it to be a very whimsical victorian witchy christmas so with that being said i want to go through my decor see what i need see what i want all that good stuff and now i'm rambling so i'm going to shut my mouth and pull over one of these boxes over here who even knows where we're starting but i'm gonna grab a box and then show you all my christmas decor okay y'all already know the hair had to go up so this is taped up so nicely it's a big bag from kirkland's i know what's in here it's a tree skirt uh my mom found this on super sale clearance last year super sale on clearance at kirkland's last year i think she paid like 15 dollars for it which is really good Let's see what it looks like. I forgot. Oh, okay. This could work. Oh, it needs a good cleaning. It's just like a fluffy tree skirt. This can work. Oh my God. This tree skirt was $70 originally. Absolutely not. Never in my life will I ever pay that much for a tree skirt. Are you kidding me? No. Ooh. Okay, it's a Sherpa tree skirt. So, I've got my tree skirt. Cute. Okay, and the next... I'm so loud, sorry. The next two things are matching pair. I got these at the thrift store. Uh, my favorite thrift store, to be exact. They were $3.99 per bag. They are this, like, beautiful cranberry red beaded garland. And it looks like there's a lot in there. So, I'm not sure if it's one or two strands in here but we all know beaded garland is expensive and ooh, oh my god oh my god here we go take it down we all know it's expensive so for finding it for four dollars a bag i thought that was a steal of a deal also i'm not quite sure why i got red i probably bought these like a year and a half two years ago but I must have been like manifesting or something because I am really into the reds for Christmas this year. Specifically when I'm searching on Pinterest for like Victorian Christmas, you see a ton of red. Not the like fire engine red, but like deeper reds like this. So maybe I'll incorporate that on my tree this year. Who knows? But I have it and I think it's a really good deal. I'm going to try to breeze through this because while i have a lot of boxes i don't actually feel like i have a lot of stuff um okay can i have the lid please no okay yeah i don't feel like i have too much stuff it's a lot of duplicates like i have a lot of the same items and like different sizes stuff like that but in this box here i have two of these really pretty garlands these are from michael's i probably paid like five dollars for them they're like these eucalyptus leaves and then they have these little glittery balls. So I have two of these. I'll weave this in another garland just to add like different texture, color, that kind of stuff. And what is this? Is this a garland? Where the hell did I use this? Okay, I have a very glittery, another eucalyptus garland here with, where can I, where can I find? 
some little white berries on here. Not necessarily my style, but I don't want this. I don't know. We'll leave that out. Maybe not. I also have, these are at Hobby Lobby still this year. I have a ton of these black flocked Christmas trees uh, because I like a darker decor no matter the occasion or the holiday so I have a lot of these I was so excited I found these like four years ago at Hobby Lobby and I have a ton they have them again this year but they're all way too expensive so as a good probably oh garland hold on it was a chair I promise so again I mentioned last year I bought a a lot of stuff at Michael's on super sale and I remembered I bought garland but I didn't remember what kind of garland I bought and there's one from Hobby Lobby that I really want this year but we'll see what this looks like maybe I don't need to get it so garland. okay very whimsical yes me okay so I have two I believe of these really pretty I don't even know, does it say? Cedar Pine Garland. Look at how pretty that is. It almost has like these like branchy things in here. You see that? <laughs> okay, I love that. So I have two of these. Love this, not mad at it at all. I love how it hangs, like that drippy or droopy kind of effect like that. Love those. Okay, me. I have another garland in here, which I bought these brand new, like super sparkly. I don't want that. So we're gonna set that aside. That is not my vibe anymore. Okay. I might as well just not even put this stuff away because I'm gonna decorate at some point. But I will put, oh, oh, I do have a big, big tree. Yeah. You see the size difference? Next box. Okay, do we remember these from the Target dollar spot last year? Everyone was going crazy for them. I found a ton for 50% off clearance at Target. So I did go ahead and grab one. I think it's just like really simple and it would look just cute, you know, on my kitchen counter, kind of leaning against something. It's cute. It was like $2. Okay, and I remember these. Oh, I need to spray paint these. I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. I love these. I think they are so unique. Very, very glittery. So they need to be, I think I'm just gonna spray paint them black or something because they're, I think that's silver, like a silvery white. It's one of those, like I can't tell if it's a really, really pale champagne or is it silver? I I don't know. Um, But I'm gonna spray paint them and then do the trick with like a spray sealer so it doesn't shed too much but i love these i think they're so just like it's a it's a christmasy branchy tree duh why would i not love that why did i buy so many glittery things you know i have a black christmas tree it's this white box right here it's a black tree so glittery gold or like champagne gold picks look really pretty in it um so i have these these are from Joann's. I think when they do their like buy one, get three free or something at the end of the season, um, I picked some of these up. So those are cute or just add them into like your everyday decor things. So I have like four of those in here. I have four of these, these shed like crazy. These are just little wreaths from Hobby Lobby. So I have four of these. I had the idea to hang these on bar stools. Uh, when we had a house um, now I don't want to do that but I think it would be really cute we have the two French doors to maybe hang some with really cute velvet ribbon and then just you know stick other little picks in here that tie in the rest of my decor so I have four of these and then for my witchy side I found these at Goodwill and I was like well I know nobody's gonna buy these except for me so look at these these are like handmade and I freaking love them. So I bought two of them from Goodwill. They were like a dollar or two a piece. And I just loved them. Loved them. Can you imagine them with like a really pretty 
pillar candle or something out of them with just like just really whimsical like moss or something thinking okay and then the last thing in this box is a huge container of these are not acorns what are these called pine cones i don't know why i was like pine cone obsessed last year so i have these and some other ones um, but these aren't bad you can use them as vase filler i tried to make a garland with them last year and it went horribly it was a fail um but i have a massive thing of pine cones i keep wanting to say acorns pine cones sorry the glare okay we have moved on to the next box and i see the things that i was really excited for to use this year that i bought last year I got candles for my tree. Look at that. Victorian Christmas. And it comes with a remote. You probably need batteries, which I totally have. Let's see. I didn't even, do they have, oh, they have clips. Yes. I can't open because of my nails. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Those are going to be so cute. They're like short too. Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so excited. So I have two boxes of these. So that is 20 candles total. Super excited to use those this year. Again, I bought those on super clearance after Christmas last year. So never got a chance to use them. Here is my other box. Now this is another thrifting score i got these during my bachelorette party in 2021 so that was october of last year so i've had these i did decorate with christmas with i did decorate with them for christmas last year obviously but i've had these for so long and i'm i'm still like i cannot believe i found these at the thrift store i want to say they were like two or three dollars a piece and I'm not going to take them out of the packaging because the flocking is a mess. But I got these two. I want to say they're like maybe three feet. This flocked garland. Oh my gosh. It's stunning. It is so pretty when you style it. I just put it on my ent uh, entertainment center. Oh my god. It's so, it's so pretty. So I literally snatched them. I was like, it's October. I'm not even thinking about Christmas but I had to have them. So I do have two of them. And it's just, it's stunning. When I do my decorate with me, you'll definitely see it up close and in all of its glory, but trust me when I say they're stunning. Um, also last year, Christmas hunting, Christmas clearance hunting, I found these really cute little tin, um, tins, yeah, tins. And I just think they're so cute. I don't bake. For the holidays but maybe now i should these were like a dollar and change so i just have two of them for what purpose i don't know but i have them in case i need them okay the next thing oh yeah i'm excited about these i just have oh these are glass okay so i have these glass white ornaments just super simple i also where did i i mean these are from michael's i guess this stunning green color you can't really see it it looks like a bronze but they're a really muted sagey green color i wanted to do a harry potter christmas which is why i got these and in another box somewhere i will point out why i wanted to do a harry potter christmas but i couldn't find any more of those ornaments and i'm like well i don't anyways that's why i got this color because you know you need the red the gold the green stuff like that anyways so not those and then i have a box of also white but they are glittery these are so pretty i don't mind glitter i don't mind glitter for christmas i really don't you can't see a dang thing and then because last year i was kind of over just all round ornaments i found these just really pretty also okay so I have a black tree so I always did white black and gold on the tree and then I found another tree at the thrift store 
excuse me, for like $20. I have never seen it put up. I've never decorated with it. I also bought it in like July of 2021 or something crazy. It was like $20. I think I just said that. So I was like, let me just get it so I can have a separate tree because I kind of want to switch it up. Um, so I have a lot of gold ornaments because I needed something to pop off the black tree. I also have a lot of black ornaments. So that is why as you see the boxes unfold and unbox, you'll see a lot of gold and a lot of black and a lot of white. On to the next box. Oh, more garland. Did I buy more of the same garland? I did. No, this is pine. No, I like that one better. I don't want pine. I bought this. I don't like that. What is this? some black branches y'all oh okay that's what I'm talking about yes. black branches love that for me what else is in here oh these are pretty these are what are they called lamb's ear lamb's ear something but I remember these from last year because they have like this really pretty like sheen to them and they're soft almost like a not velvet, but maybe like a felt or a suede or something. And they were just, they're really pretty. So I kind of have to make them look alive again. They look a little sad, but okay. Not mad at that find. Ooh, okay. I remember thrifting or um, hauling these in a thrift video a long time ago. I found these also at a thrift store. They are, they're a little dingy, a little dirty, but that's okay. They're like poinsettia flowers, poinsettia, poinsettia, whatever. They're white, but they come with the clips. So you can clip them into the tree. So I was like, oh, okay. I think they were like a dollar. I have like four or five in the bag. Okay, I like that find. I'm gonna leave that out. And then I also have a bag here of some different shaped ornaments. Let me get one out. I found these stunning brown glitter ornaments. Look at how pretty. And then I also have icicles. So that's fun. Oh, I love those. Those are so pretty. Okay. Yee. And then we've got the icicles. So cute. I also want to say that both of these were a dollar fifty cents. I got them at a thrift store not too far from here. Ah, yes. More of the tin boxes. Just this one is a little bit different. This says gingerbread baking co. Okay, I have to know what is your favorite holiday cookie? No one in my family makes them, but I love a soft gingerbread or a molasses cookie. I think they're highly underrated. But a rip, not a ginger snap. Ginger, like soft ginger. Don't ever put a crunchy cookie in front of me. That's like blasphemous. Absolutely not. We only do soft, chewy cookies. A soft, chewy gingerbread cookie. My favorite. But I saw the little gingerbread back there and I thought this one was really cute. So I have two of these. Okay, what else is in here? We have, yes. We have some velvet ribbon. This is super thick, but black ribbon. Love that. What is in here? Here they are. Okay, I was wondering where these went. Also, I went a little ham at Hobby Lobby last year because it was the first year that my husband and I had money in a house to decorate. We were renting at the time. Um, so I went cray cray at Hobby Lobby and I bought a lot of these. They're they need to be fluffed and all that. I'm just not gonna do it here because it'll create a mess. But I have like five or six of these little mini uh, Christmas trees. I'm gonna need to find a solution for the burlap because that's not my thing. But they were like $5 and they're really good for my bookshelf styling. So I have just a lot of these 
to decorate with. And I think they're super cute. Another last year's uh, Target dollar spot find, this little cookies for Santa jar. That's really cute. I found this on 50% off clearance, so it was only $2.50. So I picked one up. I don't have children, so I don't know why I grabbed it, but I just thought it was cute and simple. Again, I think I am allergic to color, so even for the holidays, I don't love a ton of green or a ton of red unless it's a dark red or green. I don't want to see a Grinch green. I don't want to see a stop sign red. No. So plain decor, stuff like this, I love. Okay, we're on to the last two boxes. Uh, oh shoot, I forgot this. Oh, so I have never had a tree topper on my trees. I just personally didn't like them. I just never liked them. So I never had one until last year I saw this one and I was like wait a minute if I want to do a Harry Potter Christmas I need this one and I found it on sale so I had to buy it it is the deer sorry the glare from the window the deer Christmas tree topper Harry Potter Christmas had to have it so we will see how that fares on my tree this year um, like I said, I've never had a Christmas tree topper, so I don't even know if I'm actually going to like it on the tree, but we'll see. Okay, I also just have to point out that I did purchase these boxes Ugh. from Michael's last year, and I love them. If they have them again this year for a half off or whatever, I'm buying more because they are so convenient. And I have most of my smaller decor and some ornaments all stored in these and I love them starting off we have all of my glittery ornaments apparently so again like I mentioned I have only ever had one tree until this year and now I have two my every my, my normal Christmas tree is black so I wanted to keep it somewhat tonal but then have something that popped that wasn't white so I did gold so I have a ton of gold ornaments in all varying sizes somewhat varying colors so we have all of those i also have black glittery ones i have just a ton also i saw on brandy jackson's channel that her and her husband collect ornaments every year that have the letter j for their last name so I was like, that's really cute. And they just get one every year and then they add it to their tree. And I was like, wait a minute, I wanna start doing that. So I grabbed, this is just from the Target Wonder Shop last year. I did pick up just a plain black one this year because that's all I had. Um, but going forward, I will definitely try to collect more unique ones, but I started this last year. And then my mom made us this ornament for our first tree as a married couple. So we have that. And then that is it for the top of this box. And then the next little compartment is all ornaments that are matte, black, gold, champagne gold. That's it. I also bought last year at Hobby Lobby, again, went nuts, a bunch of these little birch log things. Uh, they come in two like small sacks of them. So I have these that I just decorate everywhere. And then on clearance, I did pick up this Threshold Merry Christmas banner. I think this was like seven or eight dollars, something like that. So that's super cute. I also have this little crystal or glass or something Christmas tree. I got this at Goodwill. Thought it was really cute. Works well with all of my Christmas decor. So I have that little guy. And then I have a million of these. These are from Hobby Lobby. I have all different sizes of this kind of tree both this is the more yellow gold they also come in a champagne gold which I prefer over the two but I think in the moment that I was buying all of these I did not quite realize that they were different colors anyways I have a lot a lot of these okay and this is actually our last box so it hasn't been too too many things thank goodness um but oh wow okay lots of florals so again I will mention for like the 93rd time that I 
do have a black Christmas tree and I, I do plan on decorating both trees this year because we are hosting in our home this year, which I'm super excited about. Last year, I adopted the decor trend of putting picks in my tree, but of course they all had to be gold and glittery. So I have a ton of gold glittery picks. As you can see, the tags are still on. So I probably paid like a couple cents for these last year, but I have a ton. Perhaps I don't need that many. Oh my God, this is gonna get glitter literally everywhere. Give that a shake before we take it out. Look at this ridiculously glittered eucalyptus. Oh my gosh, that's just too much. I don't know if I prefer that anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna put that aside. Uh, these standard ones that are always at Michael's or even the dollar store, just these little straggly guys. We'll see if I use them this year. I may be out of that phase of my decorating life, but we'll see. You just keep everything though. You never really know until you start decorating. Um, I also, I love these little things. These little pine cones, these are also from Hobby Lobby. I think they're precious. These would be really cute to stick into a garland or just your everyday florals, just to add that little bit of Christmas. Oh, what? I have these? What? Okay, I'm glad I am going through my things because I wanted some of these, but I have some. The sensical things, I have a spiced pine cone and a white winter fur. They still smell. Oh yeah. Oh, that pine cone one smells good. Ooh, that's good. It smells a little spicy, but I guess it's... I am very glad that I have these because I was about to spend some more money on those when I do not need to. Okay. Like I said, I was pine cone obsessed last year, so I have more pine cones. Okay, and I will put an inspiration picture here on the screen. A whole tangent. When I looked up Victorian Christmas, it was mainly to get decor for a tree. And one thing that I noticed is you'll either see a lot of tinsel or a lot of ribbon, but I did come across this picture right here. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I wanna do that. So I have had this beaded garland for forever. It's from Target. It's very inexpensive, okay? And as you can see in the picture here, they also have what looks like beaded garland, but it's layered. Like it's um, like a trio, a triple layer of beaded garland. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute, I love that look. And I want to try to recreate that on my tree this year. So I have, I think this is just one strand of garland, but Target has these every year. So I did pick up three more. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Again, I will be doing probably one video where I decorate my tree and then another video where I decorate the rest of the house. So in the Christmas tree, decorate with me, uh, you'll see if that works out. I'm hoping it does because it looks amazing. I also apparently was in a farmhouse mood. I think I got this from my mom. I have another beaded garland. This is not my style, so she can have this. Um, this is another black block tree. I have a ton of these. Oh no, it's a gold one. Oh, it's a big one. Okay. See, another one. And then a little gold glittery deer. Harry Potter Christmas. Thank you very much. Okay, and like I have mentioned before, I have a ton of these little guys, a ton of them. But what I have completely forgot about that I do believe Target brought back this year in their dollar spot are like these kinds of trees. So I have the larger ones and then three of these smaller ones. Just how cute is that? Like that would look really cute. This looks really cute together, I feel like. You know, or even just, no, I don't like that. But I do have these in here also. But just cute little trees like that. I also... And I only found these two and I didn't even use them. It's like this beautiful, almost like deep magenta color. You cannot see it because of the window, but look at how pretty that is. It's like a really deep pink. 
and it looks almost like a jewel tone red i don't know i just love them these are only a dollar i do know target brought them back in some capacity this year so if you see them grab them because they are just adorable i also have this clear one from the target dollar spot and then i also have this one from the target dollar spot i'm gonna paint this like a creamy color oh yeah i'll probably paint this one too so we'll see but i have all of those Ooh, i have a large one this one was probably five yeah a large one that matches like these are the one that i just wrapped back up super nice okay okay i have things also got this last i also got this last year from this was in the threshold line oh my god i got more here you go <laughs> that was that was it that was the last of our box all right everyone that is going to wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox my christmas decor if i had to go out on a limb and say that not a lot of things are really going to work with my victorian witchy christmas so i'm gonna make it work this year because i do not want to spend a lot of money on new decor and i don't have a ton of surface area to decorate but I do have big plans for my home design and decorating and transformation throughout the year. So next year, Christmas, you know, we're going to go all out. But this year, we're going to work with what we've got. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Liking the videos that you watch on YouTube, whether it's my channel or whoever else you like to watch, it really does help their channel. So if you watch the video and you enjoyed it, give it a like. It really does help out your favorite YouTubers. But more than that, if you guys are liking the content, if you are excited to see all of the projects that I have brewing in my brain for my house throughout the year, and just to see more thrifting and more of the Christmas decorating videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't take a lot to give me a little click, but I will leave that up to you. And until the next one, bye guys. Stay tuned for the Christmas decorating with me because I'm basically just gonna start this mess is giving me anxiety. So I'm basically just starting to read now. So subscribe, stay tuned, and again, bye guys.